So the new Rogue One trailer just dropped. This is supposed to be the final trailer we get before the movie drops this December. And this is a movie that obviously I'm excited to see because I'm a Star Wars fan and I'm going to be there opening night no matter what. But the trailers that's come out before this haven't done a whole lot to blow my mind. They look cool. They sound cool. They give you a really good idea what the tone of the movie is going to be. But they haven't really knocked my socks off until this last trailer. Where the other two trailers were really just focused on giving you the tone of the movie. You know, it's dark, it's brooding, it's gonna be a war movie. And this trailer does that, and it does it better than the other two in my opinion, but this also does a really good job at showing you the different characters we're gonna be following in this movie. From Forrest Whitaker to Mads Mikkelsen, all the way up to our main character played by Felicity Jones. We get to see that Mads Mikkelsen is going to be Felicity Jones' father. He's gonna be involved somehow in the construction of the Death Star. We get to see that Forrest Whitaker is some form of either android, human hybrid, or maybe he just got a lot of prosthetics it was kind of hard to tell, but he looks like he's going to be a pretty cool character. And all the characters of that Rogue unit, Rogue One, got a lot more time to shine in this trailer. You get to focus a lot more on them as a group, and it shows that they're going to be the main focus of the movie, whereas the other trailers kind of just showed all the different characters we're going to see, and it was hard to tell the scope of the movie. Is it going to be a bunch of different stories intertwined, one big, gigantic, massive cast, or is it going to be one cohesive story with one little small group of cast, but side characters that we kind of visit here and there? This trailer did a lot better job at showing you that. And then we get the money shot. Holy shit! I don't know what the hell is going on in that scene, but it looks like Darth Vader's about to start whooping some ass. That was a really cool way to put him in the trailer without giving away too much. If I have any criticisms of this trailer, it's really with the marketing campaign of this movie as a whole, which I feel like I'm in the minority with this complaint, but to me, they're not doing a great job at showing when exactly this movie takes place. You know, I know because I'm a Star Wars fan and because I'm always included in movie news and I'm always searching things out that this takes place before the original Star Wars movie, A New Hope. But a lot of people, I feel like, aren't going to get that. They're going to think this is a sequel to Force Awakens. You're going to get people who are asking, why did they recast Rey? You're going to get people asking, well, how did they resurrect Darth Vader? And to me, they're not being clear enough that this movie is a prequel to the original, not just a continuation of The Force Awakens. To wrap all this up, guys, this was a great final trailer. It really put you into the tone of the movie and the story of the movie. We got to know our characters a little bit more, got to see a lot of great visuals with the war setting that they're really going for with this movie. A lot of aerial battles, a lot of ground battles, showing a lot of the different stormtroopers and other members of the Empire, and we get that great scene with Darth Vader without showing too much. I don't feel like I know too much going into this movie, which is the same way I felt with The Force Awakens, and I ended up loving that movie, so I'm confident I'm gonna be a big fan of this movie. I just hope Gareth Edwards really pulls this off because I have not been a fan of his other two movies. So what did you guys think of the final Rogue One trailer? Did you like that shot with Darth Vader? Do you feel like we know too much going in, not enough going in? Do you feel like they're doing a good enough job at showing what the story of this movie is and that it's not a sequel to The Force Awakens but a prequel to A New Hope? Put it in the comment section and we'll talk about it. Please like and share this video and hit that subscribe button. That way you get to come back and see me next time. But if that's not soon enough to check out some more of my videos, you can check out a few more by clicking right over here.